Okay, so now let's look at another one. Let's say I gave you 3x squared minus 7x over, yeah, x minus 5 squared times x squared minus 7x plus 10 all over x to the third minus five x squared minus fourteen x. Okay. So if you think about this with your multiplying we don't need an LCD. So with seeing that multiplication symbol, you don't have to do LCD. You could multiply, like you're supposed to, your numerator times your numerator and FOIL this. And you'll get some very lovely powers and get, get more terms. But remember, our ultimate goal is to, if we go back to our directions, our ultimate goal is to leave it in factored form. That's your hint, and also to simplify. So with that, when you see that multiplication, your first thing to do when you see multiplication and rational expressions is factor, okay? So with here, you can pull out an x, so that's x times three x minus seven. You have nothing there, it's already factored for you. If it helps, you can write it as x minus five, times x minus 5 to help yourself. That's fine. All right, standard form quadratic with a equal 1. You want factors of 10 to add or subtract to negative 7. Well, that's x minus 5 times x minus 2. All right, here you can pull out an x. That's x squared minus 5x minus 14. All right, same thing again, standard form quadratic where a is one. So factors of 14 to add or subtract to negative five, well, negative seven plus two. X minus seven times x plus two. All right, now let's multiply this out. So we do this times this. So numerator times numerator. So x times three x minus seven times x minus five times x minus two all over x minus five times x minus five. All right, let's bring out that x up front. x minus seven times x plus two. All right, so now we have some multiplied terms that can cancel. Yay, and this is what I was trying to get with some of the adding and subtracting. So now, look for what they have in common. Well, obviously, both terms have an x in common. Bye bye x's. All right. They both have an x minus 5 in common. Bye bye x minus 5's. And that's it. And so you're left with 3x minus 7 times x minus 2 all over x minus 5 times x minus 7 times x plus 2, and you're done. All right. Now, <clears throat> let's look at another one. Oh, sorry about this. Computer does not want to play nice with me today. All right, number four. Let's say we have 4x squared minus 13x, sorry about that, plus 9 over, uh, let's see, 2x minus 3 times 7x plus 2 divided by Oh, let's see, 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 all over <clears throat> 7x plus 2 
7x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay. All right. So we are dividing. Remember when we divide, we flip what we're dividing by and multiply. Okay. So 4x squared minus 13x plus 9 all over 2x minus 3 times 7x plus 2 times, flip this, so 7x plus 2 times x minus 1 all over 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. All right. Now we're back to what we just had. We're multiplying. So we go through and we factor. All right. So we're going to do our AC method here. So 4 times 9 is 36. Okay. And this can help us out over here as well. So 136, 218, 312, 49. All right, so, all right, negative four and negative nine get us our negative 13. So for here we get four x squared minus four x minus nine x plus nine. So that's four x times uh, x minus 1 minus 9 times x minus 1 and 4x minus 9 times x minus 1. Okay, so that's our numerator. So this is going to go right there. Boom, boom. All right, now 4 times 9 is 36. All right, and we want any of these factors to add or subtract to 12. There are none, so the denominator doesn't factor. So now we're left with, okay, 4x minus 9 times x minus 1 times 7x plus 2 times x minus 1 all over 2x minus 3 times 7x plus 2 times 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. All right, and now we do it again. We find our common terms to cancel out. In this case, only the 7x plus 2. So we now have 4x minus 9 times x minus 1 squared all over 2x minus 3 times 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. And that is it. Okay, moving on. We now have what's called a complex fraction, which means a fraction inside of a fraction. We got 2x over x minus 5 plus 7 all over 6 minus 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. I am going to show this problem two ways. You choose which way makes most sense to you. I am going to show the long, harder way first. And in my opinion, this is a long, harder way. But I have seen many, many, many students go about it this way because they find it to be simpler. If that's what you have to do, please do. The easier route, I would highly recommend learning because it is going to make solving rational equations easier and make simplifying this easier. Plus, in calculus, it'll make it even easier. So, we go by our order of operations. Well, we first got to deal with this numerator and this denominator. So, to be able to add here, we need an LCD. Well, the LCD is just going to be x minus 5. And for this denominator, the LCD is going to be x minus 1. All right. So from earlier, this will be 2x plus 7 times x minus 5. So that's 7x minus 35 all over x minus 5. And then this is all over. Now we multiply the 6 by x minus 1. So 6x minus 1 
minus parenthesis 3x plus 2, because we're subtracting that whole thing. All right, that gives us 9x minus 35 over x minus 5. All right, so now 6x minus 3x is 3x. Negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 over x minus 1. All right, now from our last example, we now have fraction divide fraction. So we flip and multiply. 9x minus 35 over x minus 5 times x minus 1. Here you can see, hey, that factors down. This will not always be the case. This is 3 times x minus 1. Okay. And now you can multiply. We can also do some canceling. Because looky here, x minus 1 divide x minus 1. Those cancel. And so we're left with 9x minus 35 over 3 times x minus 5. 9x minus 35 will not factor down, so we can't do anything, so we leave it be. Okay?